Hi all, I have a fascinating game to show you from the Your Next Move Rapid event. Magnus Carlsen was playing against Bada Jubava. Uh, let's see this game, d4, knight f6, and we go into a king's engine defense potentially. But uh, white plays g3 here. Perhaps a good psychological move. Magnus Carlsen knows that his opponent's very dynamic and aggressive, and this Botvinnik style, very solid approach if it's going to be a king's engine, will serve white well to reduce any king safety issues to a bare minimum. Black doesn't usually do a pawn storm in the Fianchetto variations. And in fact, so we get this position where black does play for a king's engine style position. So a Fianchetto king's engine defense. And now after e5 we see knight c3. And white's not committing his e-pawn yet. Queen c2, c6. Rook d1, and there's a threat now of d takes and knight takes e5. So black has to be very careful with move orders. Uh, if black plays a5, just to show you, you know, d takes, and then we can use that pin. So black here plays, though, queen c7. Now, queen c7 might seem to address that, but it's a little bit awkward. The mainstream move is actually queen e7. And with queen e7, it's not only addressing that threat, it's potentially putting white's e-pawn under tactical pressure. So this is actually the mainstream move, which is most usually played in this position. We're talking over 300 games. I'll give you an example sequence. e4, uh, because black might actually be threatening to play e4 himself. See, there's you know the actual threat of black playing e4. Uh, let's let's say white does nothing. E, e4 might actually be well, not not quite here. It might potentially be good in this position. That you know, there's still some stuff uh, which is dangerous. But white doesn't generally want to allow the possibility of e4. So plays e4 himself, and we get a situation like this where black sometimes takes on d4, not minding that vulnerable pawn on d6 because he can counter attack on e4 and there's a reason I'm mentioning this uh, line because it's the main line uh, idea basically for black uh, not just to develop pieces but to develop with threats with concrete threats in mind uh, you know black needs to play the role of assassin and not victim and so pay attention even to the most simple looking moves have an underlying threat to them and the way he played it he's playing like a victim queen c7 because now in fact after e4 a5 black's game is without this counterplay on e4 and white can simply build very comfortably a nice position with h3 followed by bishop e3 which he does so Black does play e takes d4, but this trade is, is not as significant. There's hardly any pressure on this e pawn, and there's potentially just mounting pressure on the d6 pawn. So you can see black is saying, I'm a victim, basically, in this game. Just given this structural liability with minimal counterplay. And in fact, this is already a really difficult position for black. It's potentially a fundamentally passive position, uh, structurally. I'll give you an example. Say, say black just uh, plays b6. I think we can start just probing uh, d6 like this. Uh, you know, with, with ideas of just hitting that hard and maybe even putting the bishop there later. So anyway, uh, black though starts to make his position even worse though with the move knight c5, which carries with it uh, a certain weakness of the last move, which is tapped into straight away can you see what magnus plays what's the problem with knight c5 okay e5 now there might have been some clever aspect of this in black's reasoning that actually this is a weakness of the last move and there's this big tempo gainer uh, because black can't take that because the knight's dropping so black's relying on this tempo gainer is this comfortable for black? White just plays queen c1 here. So there's actually, you know, the knight's still hit. And 
there's a problem on d6 isn't there uh, if knight d3 that can be taken and on bishop takes we just take that so that looks like a disaster area if black instead plays d takes that's better but still uh, just much better for white after knight takes protects the rook so this whole concept of bishop f5 seems highly suspect actually after queen c1 so black now plays knight f e4 basically this represents a pawn sack after e takes because queen takes is impossible because a bishop takes g7 hitting the queen so it's a pawn sack is black after something to do with f2 we have d7 very good move uh, this knight is pinned uh, we have rook e d8 and now Magnus perhaps didn't play the smoothest move in the position which engine and analysts would be crying out for here as the smooth super smooth move would be bishop takes g7 with super smooth wonderful variations instead Magnus played a knight takes e4 which did in the game get an advantage but just to show this bishop takes and there's no naughty business for black here black is just worse after either knight d4 or knight h4 and the point is exposing the fragility of this knight on e4 uh, to which there's no significant reply here whatever black does he's worse uh, this is a very interesting uh, try to reply with knight takes f2 now there is a glimmer of white having a disaster here if takes it's a mating two double check and wouldn't black be enjoying this uh, for example like that but here all hope is extinguished in this position by absolute force by a sequence of forcing moves with knight takes f5 check queen g5 check queen f6 check and can you see the killer the killer move in this position in this variation it's a wonderful one okay white's play knight d5 and there's a nasty pin on that pawn this is end of game for black can't even take on b2 the queen's protecting b2 same moves to a6 in fact we don't even take the knight here we just go for black's king so by force getting a checkmate like this bang checkmate yeah so the smoothest move in the position if white was a computer supercomputer would be uh to take on g7 and play knight h4 who would have thought because it's almost, almost encouraging black's naughtiness all of black's pieces are kind of geared for this f2 it's encouraging it and just saying no you're getting smashed by force on the dark squares because you've just lost your like dark square bishop but magnus's move is good anyway knight takes e4 black sh black played bishop takes uh now we have rook takes d4 now the best chance for black here would have been bishop takes e4 where white can claim a small advantage of the knight e5 with precise play for example like this but it gets a bit tricky because that d7 could be got back one day I'll just show you this tricky line there is a disaster with knight e4 but here the idea knight takes c6 very very tricky line where maybe white emerges technically with an advantage with an absolute best play uh, so this this would have been it seems this was the best chance here in this position to play bishop takes e4 yeah i mean that would have tested the whole you know pawn sack concept but we see instead knight takes e4 and this knight is still it's it's loose here guess what magnus colson plays in this position it's slightly fragile there white play what would you play with white if i give you five seconds starting from now g4 undermining the knight black's in a desperate state here he attacks the rook but he's weakening key squares now up to rook d1 black does get his pawn back but this is actually really bad now after queen f4 
that knight is still loose and it can't go back to f6 because of rook d6 bang double attack so this this would cause this does cause uh, a terrible concession f5 so black has weaknesses everywhere in this position and now Magnus just plays knight e5 hitting that bishop and also hitting the knight we have bishop a4 b3 still gaining a tempo and it looks as though isn't black holding on here not really knight takes c6 yeah this structure is falling apart here g takes f5 rook takes rook takes the knight tries to save itself and threaten a fork Magnus is not falling for that rookie one stopping the knight fork and black's king has no defense around it these double pawns are miserable we see queen d8 f takes tearing black's king safety to shreds black's king has been made fairly naked okay rook e6 yeah hitting pawns on both sides of the board magnus doesn't even want a pawn now he's not wanting a pawn a measly pawn he goes directly for black's king with queen g5 we have rook a7 desperately trying to defend but after rook takes g6 king h8 queen h6 it's over it's totally over black resigns if he plays this queen f8 check is mating now i think this game is interesting this was arguably Bata jobova's worst ever rapid tournament ever in his career is unlikely to have a worse one because in fact in the event he didn't even win a single game he lost about eight games and he's a fantastically creative dynamic player but i think the psychology of the game in chess is so powerful that sometimes you've got to even get every single opening move you play has to be from the role of the assassin you have to develop pieces and it looks as though you're just playing positional play but it's underlying threats and ideas why systems are worked out so even the queen c7 it puts black on a disastrous course in my view in this game it's sort of the mainline queen e7 because black's structurally passive after that that and in this game it just led to one disaster to another after losing that pawn and the one opportunity he had uh, to cause white to have to play um, accurately he missed as well making things even worse and Magnus in the end he, did, he just went for black's king he didn't even go for material on the queen side so yeah it was a, a particularly crushing game it needn't to have been and the opening wasn't as bad as all that but uh yeah it's it's as though the psychology of the game is actually really evident here and, and Magnus's choices of op uh, opening his choice of opening against his opponent to make sure Jabova wasn't showing any of the strengths of his style of play Magnus kept it very positional very tight king safety and uh, yeah very clinical play here restricting black's counterplay to the extreme i hope you got something out of it comments questions like shares appreciated thanks so much